Hello, aspiring educator. Today, we're covering vocabulary, academic language, and background knowledge in reading development, so you will be 100% ready for your teacher certification exam. Get ready for some aha moments as we explore these concepts in depth. First, let's talk about vocabulary. On test day, look out for questions that link vocabulary knowledge directly to reading fluency. Understanding the meaning of words being read not only helps the reader to read swiftly and accurately, but also enhances overall reading fluency. This is because familiarity with vocabulary reduces the cognitive load during reading, allowing for smoother and faster processing of text. Vocabulary and reading comprehension. Vocabulary is also a key indicator of how well a student will comprehend a text. There's a clear correlation here. Knowing the vocabulary within a passage significantly boosts comprehension. Academic language and comprehension. Moving on to academic language which includes both technical and non-technical terms found within academic texts. A solid grasp of this language type empowers students to better understand and engage with complex texts, thereby improving comprehension. Background knowledge and comprehension. Background knowledge plays a pivotal role in comprehension. For example, a child who has never seen coral reefs may struggle to understand a text about marine biology compared to a peer with direct experience. Developmental Continuum for Vocabulary Growth Let's get you prepped for test day by understanding the developmental stages of vocabulary is crucial. Unknown words. Words completely unfamiliar to the student. Acquainted words. Words the student recognizes but doesn't fully understand. Established words. Words the student knows well and can use confidently. Spoken versus written vocabulary. Be aware that the vocabulary used in spoken language is often less sophisticated than that found in written texts. This distinction is important because it underscores the need for direct teaching of sophisticated vocabulary to aid in reading comprehension. Now, let's move to factors influencing reading development. When selecting vocabulary to teach, consider frequency, how often a word appears in texts, utility, the usefulness of understanding a word for text comprehension, background knowledge, how familiar students are likely to be with the word. For your exam, be aware that there are vocabulary tiers and selection for instruction. Understanding the three tiers of vocabulary is essential. Tier 1, basic words that most children know. Tier 2, high utility and academic vocabulary that is more complex. Tier 3, domain-specific words, often necessary for understanding specific content. Now, let's move forward to strategies for vocabulary instruction, so you can be ready when a multiple-choice question about strategies comes up. Be aware that effective vocabulary instruction involves direct instruction, teaching specific words intensively, Word learning strategies. Helping students learn how to decipher unfamiliar words independently. Word consciousness. Encouraging an interest in words and their meanings through engaging activities. Then there's also promoting word consciousness. To foster word consciousness, use activities that explore synonyms, antonyms, homophones, idioms, and etymology. Encourage wide reading to expose students to a variety of vocabulary. Integrate vocabulary into listening, speaking, reading, and writing activities. Expect to receive several questions that ask you to demonstrate your understanding for addressing diverse learning needs. Tailor your instruction to meet the needs of all learners. For struggling readers, focus on essential words and straightforward language. For English learners, utilize visual aids and teach common morphemes. For advanced learners, introduce more complex vocabulary and concepts. You've now equipped yourself with key insights into how vocabulary, academic language, and background knowledge influence reading development. To put your knowledge to the test and ensure you're ready for your certification exam, head over to teacherpreps.com and take the fluency practice test. This will help you assess your understanding and prepare you for exam day.